man is a patriot. The very soil of this land is in the fabric of his being. He is a patriot, and for that you give him the ultimate punishment. Yeah. You're going over territory that we've already dealt with. Your brother's case has no bearing on this. His hearing is yours. It's mine. Yes, and its outcome will depend on your showing contrition, contrition. for your own offenses. What offenses? Uh, what offenses? For, for most of them? Yeah. Is your threatening your own bishop. And yes, the other business of violence in your home. Now, can you see that you have violated his teaching when you have defied your priesthood leader. No, 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 it is you. It's you who has antagonized and bastardized the sacred teachings of Joseph Smith and Brigham Young. Right. Don't do this. It is you who stink of hypocrisy. When the Lord commands, you do it. It is the decision of this council that you, Ron Lafferty, be excommunicated. But know that with repentance comes the healing waters of rebaptism. After his church court, he went home to reclaim his rightful place. Everyone, stop. Hide, hide, hide. Come here, where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, where are my beauties? Where are my beauties? <laughs> you gonna give me a hug? You gonna give me a hug? Come give daddy a hug. No. Come here. Hey, come on. Oh, my big boy. My big boy. Come here. His own daughter had cut the sacred markings out of his garments. He lost everything. His business, his family, his church. Where is she? Where's your sister? Huh? Are you a peep? Are you a... <laughs> and yes, Mr. Taba, we can hear the Holy Spirit as true saints, but I, I, I really worry that Ron came to believe that he could hear a truer voice of God, his own God, and better than anyone else could hear him. Okay. <laughs> 